Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna to take a look at an extension called Light Beams. So actually the extension is listed as Photoreal Textures for SketchUp, uh, but I believe the manufacturer of it, or the, 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 the group releasing is called Light Beams. I'm not sure that the names get a little mixed up as you go through the extension, but what it is is access to a very large library of PBR materials that we can use inside of SketchUp. So pretty cool. Let's take a look at it right now. Okay, so here is the page in uh, Extension Warehouse and it's pretty straightforward. Got a couple pictures showing materials on the floor, outside, a couple screenshots of the UI, and then of course a little video. Um, you can see down here from the description, English and French, the extension itself is available in both. It can be toggled real quick back and forth between English and French, it's kind of nice. Well, it's nice if you speak French, but I just left it in English. I'm assuming the French stuff's all right. Um, it does support the most recent versions. And uh, when we click install, it'll actually install a simple little extension. So the extension itself is called from one button. You guys know how I like that simple UI, uh, but this is just gonna pull this up. And initially it's gonna pop up looking kind of like this, um, which is good. You want a small UI, that's, that's perfect. Um, up at the top is FR. If you click that, it'll swap. So now it's showing French, hit EN to show English. There's a couple of settings. Um, so the important one is where is it gonna download to? The default is the location of the plugin, which is in you know a folder, subfolder, like four folders deep. So um, I recommend simplifying it, putting it somewhere it's easier to get to. That way, when you have to go in and you know assign your different files to the materials, it's not as quite as complicated as going through uh, you know into your library somewhere or some user folder. Um, I'm looking. There's a little filter in here for Enscape V Rare SketchUp only. Um, we're just going to stick with SketchUp only. I'm going to go ahead and save that. So when you first come in here, like I said, I this is what I did. I sat here not unhappily scrolling through materials for minutes. You see that there at the beginning, the, the scroll bar was big and the further you get down, it's gonna keep resizing and getting smaller. If you go here to the top, you can tell I'm looking at almost 3,500 textures and they, they say they release new textures every week too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what I learned you gotta do is drag this out, make this larger so you get this bar on the left. This bar is, going to make it much easier to sort through thousands of textures, of course. So we have some options in here. The first one, probably the most useful one, is material type. So in here I can see that I have engineered wood, laminate, laminate bamboo, brick, carpet. I don't, I don't like reading to you guys. You guys know how to read. So all these different things we can go into. This was the most useful for me. Um, there is a section down here. I have 50 some different manufacturers or brands that I can go into. That's, that's if there's a specific one you like and you're using, that's go for it, click on that. Uh, the other option of course is to sort by application. So I'd say, what am I using it for? You know, shingles versus material for furniture versus countertop. So I could actually filter that way as well. There's also an interior exterior filter here. So like I said, for mine, the best really seemed to be to come up to uh, the material types and go through and click on that. So once you scroll through here, if you find a material you like, you can just click on that material. And what it will do is it'll just start downloading. And that's really all you gotta do. You do have to be signed in. So when you initially install the extension and the first time you sign in, it'll ask you to create an account and that account will come with a 60 minute uh, basically window in which you can download whatever materials you want uh, into, you know, to, to use, to play with. Um, after that, you do have to subscribe, you do have to pay for it, it is, but, but again, if you're doing a lot of materials, kind of like when we looked at some other extensions like architecture, architectures, this is definitely a worthwhile one to go in and get uh, some high quality materials out of here. Let's grab a couple more. Let's go look at something like um, I'm just gonna scroll through here. Let's just let's just run down this list. We have a lot of herringbone wood and uh, different materials for for flooring. I gotta get this. Look at this. This is just a straight up 
just a mirror. Let's just grab it because we can. That's why. Um, let's grab one more. Let's look for something a little bit different. Uh, maybe we we'll just grab a wood. Let's let's uh, let's grab a nice smooth wood. Let's let's grab that. You can see as I'm doing each one, it is downloading that material. All right. So once that's done, we're gonna go in, and these just get dumped right into our paint bucket, our our colors UI for the paint bucket. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'm gonna bring my colors. Whoops, wrong button. I'm gonna bring my colors palette on here. And you can see right here, these bottom ones are the ones I just downloaded. So they don't look very amazing right now, but if I double click into one of these, so this is the silver shadow vein. If I click in there, it'll show me the material. And now I can come in and I can turn on the metalness. And I can turn on the roughness, probably slide metalness down stone. And I can add things like the normal map. It's gonna to download to your location. Mine was in downloads and it's going to create a folder. So the folder for this was Enscape. I'm not sure, I, I don't know exactly how that works since I did have uh, SketchUp only turned on, but the folder it downloaded was that. So, so there, so that's where it is. And for each material I download, it's gonna create a folder. So if I double click to go into that folder, I can look right here and I can see, okay, it shows me all the files I would need. Whoops, uh, eh. there we go. And we're looking for the roughness. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. And it doesn't have anything called ambient occlusion, but I was playing with this a little bit. Um, a couple of the other files. So we have albedo and uh, with diffuse with shadows. And I was using diffuse with shadows. That seems to be pretty close to what I was expecting for ambient occlusion. So um, I'm assuming that's the same thing, but play with that, see what you think. So there we go. So we have that material. Now at this point we can, you know, like I said, we can just play with it just like we would uh, a standard material, or of course, you know, we can apply it. So let's go ahead and grab the material, apply it right here. And there we go. We get it on there. You can see that material, look at it. And again, once it's in there, we can, like I said, we can adjust this just like we would, uh, any other material, you can see the material changes as I slide this stuff around. Um, yeah, but just let's let's do something. So I, that was tile. I was not real super exciting. Let's go grab that. Um, let's go grab that reflective material. I think it was Finny Mirror. There we go. Let's double click on that mirror. Add metalness. Add roughness. Um, it does have a normal map despite being. I don't know, just a mirror, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we can grab it and we'll see the normal map. Um, let's just apply that and spin that around. I'll probably edit it, metalness up. Let's take our roughness way down because we should be able to, if we do that, we should be able to see, yep, there's the sky reflecting in it. So you can see, Pretty quick and easy to get downloaded. Save that, um, but just another option. Well, the thing I like about this, so there's lots of PBRs out there, right? You can get PBR materials from number of down of websites. We can just download them and and start using them easy enough. Um, the thing I like about this is that it all happens inside of SketchUp. So once I sign up for that, I have the materials. I can just start pulling them in, drop them right side inside of SketchUp, and then I can use them as PBRs right there. So uh, a cool little extension worth checking out. Do the trial, do the 60 minute trial, grab a couple materials and play with them, see what you think. Um, yeah, that's what trials are for. Try it out. It's the first part of trial is try. I don't know if that wasn't as insightful as I wanted it to be, but check it out. It's worth checking out. So there it is, light beans. Like I said, I got a little confused because the UI the, the listing page calls it photo real materials and then the extension itself is installed as light beans. Um, I do like that little logo though, that little little green bean up there is kind of fun. Um, but yeah, check it out. It's a great way, like I said, the, the, the perk for me of light beans was the fact that the UI, everything, it all sits inside of SketchUp. Uh, when we first started using photo real materials, I went out to PBR places and I downloaded these folders and then I had to start importing one at a time and then, uh, it, it's too much for me, I'll be honest. So the fact that it's all there inside of SketchUp, you do have to still go click and get, find the roughness maps and everything, 
but uh, pretty easy to do uh, when it's all in one location. So check it out, uh, try it out, let me know what you think. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Did you like this extension? There's another extension you think we should look at or do you just have another idea for a video that you think we should do? Uh, we like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.